Alrighty, we are all packed up and ready to go. I am so excited for this trip. It's been years since I've been. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We have a lot of things planned. It is almost 10 o'clock. We are about to head out the door and we'll be on our way. <laughs> today we have successfully made it here we got everything sorted the drive here actually was very simple we made it nice and smoothly and then it was a bit complicated once we got here luckily we found a free parking garage to stay in for an hour because our check-ins not till four so we parked there for a half hour tried to sort out our luggage so we did lock our luggage in like the storage unit they have on site and then we also requested a parking spot so then we moved the car into the parking spot picked up the fob for it that parking garage was something else it was very very large but we handled it and now we're on our way to the aquarium so that is the first destination of the day it is nearly two o'clock so hopefully we can get in no problem i haven't been in years so i'm looking forward to it and this is his first time in Toronto. We're here! Yay! Hi, fishies! I'm fascinated by the fish and we're just in the entrance. Right? We haven't even made it yet. <laughs> There's actually a show at 2.15 and it's 2.10 right now, so we are gonna just wait for it because it's right behind me. Um, I don't really know what the show is going to entail, but I'm excited. This aquarium is massive, so you can honestly spend hours in here, but we have time to kill anyways, and it was something that we had on, on the agenda because we bought our city pass, so that was definitely a good deal. It was super easy. Since it's not busy right now, I just scanned our passes and we came right in, so we didn't have to reserve a time slot or anything. I can't wait to look at all the fishies. Maybe you want to touch the thing right no! The shark is really cool. So there really wasn't a show. We waited, but nothing really happened. A girl just dived in and she's feeding them. So we're gonna start. Cool. What the heck is that one? Rainbow Reef. I'm trying to channel my inner National Geographic voice. We're on a conveyor belt that's moving very slowly. Ooh, shark sighting. does not look like a typical shark. That is a thick shark. These fish look like they're smiling. They are so cute. <laughs> so cute. I wonder why they're like that. Does it say? Really cool. That one looks aged. Hi. Look at how small this one is. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. What? Aquarium was great. We had fun. I would give it a sun. Oh my gosh, the sun is bright. I would give it a solid 8 out of 10 experience. I give it an 8. Yeah? It was yeah. a lot better than most of them. Very nice. Yeah, it was fun. It was nice because it was an experience. So it was immersive in my opinion, and that's why I enjoyed it. But it's almost time to check in, so we're headed to a grocery store and we're gonna pick up a few things for the Airbnb. So we have like eggs and toast for breakfast in the morning. And I haven't even eaten lunch yet. So, well, neither of us really did. So maybe we'll grab like a little snack to have to tie us over until dinner and then settle on into 
the hotel. Not, I keep saying hotel, the Airbnb. <laughs> this one. Okay, coffee. Which coffee do I want? Hmm. Triple shot will have me zooming. So do I just get a standard double? Yeah. Or like one of these? This sounds good. Hazelnut sea salt. can be controlled through the app that they have. So I have like a virtual key. There we go. Just like that. So cool. But this Airbnb is gorgeous. It's so much nicer than I anticipated. Like it looks exactly like the picture. So we're gonna give you a little tour. Here is the entrance. There is a full length mirror. And then there is like a little foyer area. So there's a desk. And then we have a closet in here. This Airbnb also has a washer and dryer, which is phenomenal. We won't need it because we're not here long enough, but there's that. There's another mirror here. And then you walk down this hallway. We have the bathroom. It's gorgeous. And then when you continue walking down, we've got the bedroom which I absolutely love this style. I think it's so cool. I love the wallpaper as like an accent wall. And then next to it is our kitchen. Kitchen's really nice, full-size kitchen. We've got an island here, a couch, some coffee tables with a fun rug, TV, and then the best part, the view. We're gonna have so much natural light in this Airbnb, but so pleased with it. We are going to celebrate arriving here safe and sound with a cider. So we got like four different ciders from the store. Each of them were a different flavor. And I think we're going to try, thank you very much. It's pear and pear cider with kombucha. Hopefully it's, it's good. The can is cute. Cheers. Cheers. Success. That was a solid purchase. We need to decide what we're gonna have for dinner, but I do need to freshen up a bit because we've been walking, we were driving. Yeah, it's just been a long day, so I need to freshen up for dinner and look cute. We'll figure out where we're gonna go. Probably gonna find somewhere to walk and then explore a bit because we have the whole evening. It's 6.30 right now. Hello. Hello. same jeans and sneakers we're going for a casual look tonight and then I did end up just packing this black bodysuit for if we needed it for in case of an emergency should I say and it worked out perfect because I just wanted to change into something but I didn't want to go too dressy I figured this was an easy look to throw on and we're ready for dinner and we're gonna get ramen the plan is we are going to first stop at the light festival thing. It's open until March 1st and then we're gonna head to dinner. Um, okay, so what's the best way to go? 4A or ground? Ground. Ground? The the light festival that I found that we were headed to was in 2020. <laughs> a little bit light. Just a little just late. Just a little bit. Just by a couple years. So we've just wasted a bit of time. And a few laughs. And a few laughs, but you know what? It's fine. It's all about... <laughs> it's all about the journey. It's all about the journey, exactly. It's all good. So now I guess we're saying goodbye to the non-existent light festival there is a few lights but they're just like string lights at restaurants so what to do right sorry callum it's my bad <laughs> we 
We made it. Okay. Our ramen has just arrived. We both got the spicy chicken ramen with spicy miso broth. And it looks phenomenal. So good. Oh my goodness. Toronto. We are ready to go. I'm bundled up. Not really bundled, but I've got a hat on because it's definitely a bit chillier out today than yesterday. Our plan for the day is Kensington Market for some thrift shopping. Then we're going to head up to Casa Loma and see that for a bit because I have the city passes, which gets us into like five different attractions, that being one of them. And then we're gonna see the Toronto sign and maybe visit the Eaton Center for some shopping. And we're off. We are almost to Kensington Market. We decided to walk again, get our steps in because Ubers can add up so quickly. It's a good thing we've bundled and I'm not too cold. Just walking through a park right now. Are you all right? <laughs> Forever tired. <laughs> Let's hope we can find some good thrifting. A cinnamon bun and she heated it up for us. We're in the back room of the cafe and the entire wall is covered in books, which is so unique. Never seen that before. It was delicious. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah. Really nice. Really good. After a brief intermission, we're back. More vintage shopping. I'd have to get the next size up. Oh, I like it. Wow, these are some funky shoes. Even if you don't buy anything thrifting or like vintage shopping, it's just fun to look. Y'all know I'm a sucker for a good tote bag. Is that not so cute? We are at this little coffee station and it's like self-serve. So you just order your coffee and then the machine makes it for you. So we're just waiting for my cappuccino to come. I usually get iced. I always get iced, but I got hot because it is very cold and it'll warm up my hands. It passes the taste test. I would say it's a solid 8 out of 10, considering that it was made by a robot. I'm pretty happy with it. It actually tastes really good. I'm surprised. We spent about 40 minutes. No, that's an exaggeration. We didn't spend that long in a game store. Like 39. 39 minutes. <laughs> Callum got two games. Clue and Exploding Kittens. Salad. Anyways, now we're walking to the Casa Loma. It's about a 30 minute walk from where we are. We've been doing a lot of walking and I feel like the time goes by faster in a city because you're just always looking at the buildings and it's always a new environment. So that's what we're up to. And our coffee was good. We really enjoyed the coffee. Caffeinated and ready for the next activity.
they have an audio tour, which is really nice, but the issue is it speaks so slowly that we're just gonna read everything the old fashioned way. We just walked through a tunnel for about five minutes. <laughs> And now we are in their second property. I guess the owner of this house didn't want to deal with Toronto traffic back in the day. So he literally dug 18 feet under, underground. And it connects their two properties together. So now we are in the other space, which is really cool. We've climbed from the bottom all the way to the top. There's another tower over there. Not sure we're gonna be able to tackle that one because we're both <laughs> feeling it. We have this beautiful view of the skyline. Going down these is kind of scary though. Such a tight squeeze. He's down for the count. My cripple. Oh, you okay? We finished the castle. I'd say a solid eight and a half out of ten. I really enjoyed it. I it was much better than I was predicting. It was really cool. Really enjoyed it. Now we're headed to the Toronto uh, sign and then the Eaton Center for some shopping. Hello. Third Street West using the upcoming left lane. Using the right lane, make the right turn on Bay Street. We've made it to the sign. They're making the ice right now for a session. Dinner was incredible. I am sufficiently full and we're back home in the Airbnb. We're calling it a night. We're gonna just chill for the rest of the evening. We've had a really eventful day. I wanna show you what we got today. I only have a few things, but I'm very excited about them. So first thing I got, I got these earmuffs from the Kensington Market, $7. No way. Aren't they cute? They're cute, right? I got two things from Dynamite. I have a shirt from there the last time I came here and I love it so much. So I stopped in and I got two basics. First is this bodysuit. So it's just a white bodysuit, but on the back is where the fun is. It's a low back, as you can see, very low. The other top I got is this one. It's kind of like a, a clay color, if you will. A little crop top, but the material is so nice. I don't have to wear a bra with it, and it's nice and like fitting to my body. So this will be a good basic to have. And then I got two things at Lulu, the final destination. I found the last everywhere belt bag in black at the store. I asked the girl if they had them, and because I, I was looking around and I couldn't find them anywhere. And they thought they were sold out, but lo and behold, we found the last one. So I got that, and then I got a little like crop jacket on sale. This is the little top, so it lays perfectly with like high waisted leggings. But very cute, very happy with my purchase at Lulu. And from the day, we had a really good day. I think now we're gonna play games. Okay, pick a number one through three. We've got raspberry peach.
today is Friday, the sun is shining, it's gonna be a great day, and we have tickets for the CN Tower at 10.30, so we're all ready to go. We're just about to head out the door, and it's a 40 minute walk from our Airbnb, so we're gonna speed walk, maybe grab a coffee on the go, and see where the day takes us. It is our last full day here, so I wanna try and pack in as much as we can, but at the same time, I feel like we've already done all the top things that we wanted to do while being here. And the last two things we have scheduled for today will be two more checks off the list. Outfit of the day, I went for a monochromatic look, so an all white or like off white look. I've got, my hat is from Princess Polly. This little sweater is from American Eagle. I actually made my scarf in college. And then the jeans are Zara. And then I have the same Puma sneakers that I've been wearing this whole entire trip. So that's the look and then I'm gonna throw a coat on, obviously. There is a McDonald's right downstairs from our Airbnb. So we just popped right in there and they had $1 medium coffee. So good to go and now we're en route. It is, it is 10.28 and we have just pulled up. So we made good timing. <laughs> We're inside a smooth process. I don't think there's very many people here, so we might have a semi-private viewing <laughs> from the top. It's really, really cool from up here. The view is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, going up on the elevator though, it was getting a little bit, a little shaky. Like it was a little, Nerve-wracking, not nerve-wracking, but you know what I mean. Anyways, we came up here and when we first walked in, nobody was here. recommend I had a really good time I've never done that before thoroughly enjoyed that back in the cold now I think we're gonna do a little bit of putzing around maybe get something to eat because it's like 1130 now I'm getting hungry and he hasn't eaten much yet and then we're gonna maybe shop some more I just tried on the scuba cropped hoodie again. And it's just too boxy for me. And I want it to fit me properly so badly. If they had like an extra, double extra small slash extra small, it'd be perfect, but they don't make it in that size, so. As per a recommendation, we came to Fresh. It's an all vegan restaurant. Not that I'm vegan, but I do enjoy vegan food. And it's so cute in here, and the food looks delicious so I'm excited. We got the Dutch fries that's garlic mayo sauce I think. If this is all vegan and then we got hot sauce on the side. The service in every place we've been in Toronto is so good like so fast. Our bowls just came we ordered the same thing but he substituted soba noodles. So we got the balance bowl. This is my type of portion size. It looks incredible. Savannah would love this place. Miss you, Sam. Hi. Jordan? Yes. Hello. It is a bunch later, like quite a few hours. Now we're in an Uber and we're on our way to Party Putt. So we're gonna go play some mini golf and have a couple drinks and I'm really, really excited.
on Long Island. Such a good time. I'm so happy. We were treated too well. Too well. Too well. I had, like we had so much fun. The drinks were amazing. The ambiance was amazing. They had a DJ playing. So all around, such a good, such a good time. The next time I come back to Toronto, I will be returning. Now we're walking to try and get some poutine before Eat going the back poutine. to the Airbnb, but it's freezing. Saturday morning, which means we are getting ready to check out of the Airbnb and head home. It has been such a fun few days here in Toronto. I'm so glad we came. And last night honestly was the icing on the cake. I could not have asked for a better final evening in Toronto. 11 out of 10 experience. We had such a great time. Thank you again, Party Putt. I want to say they have it in other cities as well. So maybe look into that. I'll have the Instagram and their website linked below. So much fun. And now it's time to drive home. We're just packing up the last minute things and I've had such a good, good few days. Mm -hmm.